and welcome back to my channel and today we have a actually requested tutorial it is going to be a very simple and easy gray smoky with a little bit of green look I will link down below the video where I originally wore that look for you guys to see and this is also going to be part of my Halloween series because you can use this for like a dark vampy mermaid hence our cute little accoutrements here. As always, everything that I have used on my face and use in the tutorial will be listed down below. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe and tap that notification bell to be notified of more videos and let me know what tutorials you would like to see. But let's just get into the tutorial. Okay, this is a very simple look. My eyes are primed. I'm gonna start with this Sonia Kashuk Brock Brock brush and go into this NYX Avant Pop palette and use the, are these colors named? I don't think so. I'm going into this matte gray and starting just really working that into my crease already and let's just do this. Okay, there we have that started, just nice and hollow and sunken in. Next, I am going to go into my Tarte Z palette here. I don't have the names for them off the top of my head because I have ugh, depotted everything, but I'll obviously leave the names down below. I'm gonna be using these two gray Urban Decay shadows. They are two of my absolute favorite Urban Decay shadows and gray shadows. I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild crease brush and we're gonna start off with the lighter of the two and put that more in the crease and kind of create that outer V. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the darker of the two on the same brush, just the opposite side of it getting a little bit of that and deepening it, deepening, deepening it up, that is how you say it, even more. Okay, next I'm gonna take a clean Sonia Kashuk one and I'm just gonna blur all the edges and make it look nice and blended. Okay, now that we have that done, it is time to do the pop of color, the NYX Avant Pop palette. Again, we're gonna be using this beautiful sea foamy green using one of these little brushes. Okay, there we have the top. Then for the lower lash line, we're gonna take this brush here. And we're gonna start off with that gray that we started off with and then deepen it up with the Urban Decay shadows as well. Then we're gonna smooth that out as well. And then for inner corner, we have this beautiful white shade right here. We're gonna pop that in using this little Sephora brush. Let's go get some of that. All right, there we have that. This look also included eyeliner and I am gonna do that on camera today for you guys. So yay! I'm gonna be using the vamp stamp stamp thingy and then just connecting it with this L'Oreal the Infallible Black Buster Liquid Eyeliner that I'm trying to use up so that I can then use my cruelty free options. So let's get into the eyeliner. There we have the eyeliner, then I am going to do the other eye, and then we'll do lipstick. Alright, I have donned a mermaid-esque 
wig and we're going to do highlighter and liquid lipstick. We've got eyeliner, not doing falsies so that you guys can actually see the look better, but we're going to do highlighter and lipstick and we'll have a completed look. I'm going to start off using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonshot Glow Kit and my e.l.f tapered small tapered whatever brush and I'm gonna start going into the color star right here okay we are highlighted and beautiful and ethereal now we're gonna do liquid lipstick I am using my new favorite freaking formula this is the uh, wet n wild mega last liquid catsuit in sleepy hollow this is from their Halloween collection it's a nice gray color to play up on the grays of our eyes And, oh, we need mascara. And here we are with the completed look. Some nice, pretty mermaid vibes going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And, Kessie, I hope that this... It was close enough to what I had in the video for you. I do enjoy doing tutorials a lot more now, so definitely let me know what you would like to see next. I do have some other Halloween videos in the works for you. I'm going to do a vampire and some other stuff and all kinds of awesome sauce. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and as always, keep it real. Mwah!